beware of marine altars, this is how they initiate people. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Revelation 12:12. 12, 12. Hello Ma, it's so good to see you again. We have come to the end of this term and this is your daughter's result. It seems my daughter is no longer doing well at school. What is going on? I don't understand. Did you change her teacher? No Ma. We are also worried about her but don't worry, she will bounce back. Have you tried extramural classes? Yes but I have not seen any improvement. My daughter was always the best in her class. She was always taking the first position and suddenly, she started performing badly. I thought it was the school at first but now I'm worried. She will bounce back. I'm just worried and concerned as a mother should. Cindy, what's going on with you? Your performance is not so good. Mom, I don't understand. I read my books and study well but I don't know why I keep forgetting what I read when I'm in the exams hall. I feel so sad and ashamed. My classmates said I'm no longer brilliant. Don't mind your classmates. You're still a brilliant child, my dear. You just need to sit up. Mom, I'm not doing anything different from before. I read my books and study hard. That's okay. I'll speak to your dad and we will look for a way. Maybe you need to change school. How many times? Mum, please. I like it here even though my classmates do mock me a lot. Cindy, when we decide what to do, I'll let you know. How was your day? Where is Cindy? I checked her room and she wasn't there. I think she is hiding from you. She wasn't among the first ten in her class. She isn't happy at all. My Cindy? You mean my Cindy went from taking the first position in her class to not even being amongst the first ten, and she is very brilliant. Something is definitely wrong. We need to do something. Like what? I mean, we've paid for extra meal classes for her. We've changed her school. What else should we do? I know where to take her to. There's a prey house my friend recommended to me and I had been there once. Since then, my business has been moving well. I'll take her there. What's the name of this prayer house? Please, be careful of where you are taking my child to. I have only one child, please. Why are you talking as if I'm not her father? Trust me on this one. Cindy, are you ready? Your dad is waiting for you. Mum, where is dad taking me to this early morning? I want to sleep more. Is he angry that I didn't do so well? No, dear. He's just worried about you and wants the best for you. You should get going now. All right, Mum. Dad, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. You shouldn't feel bad about this. You just have to decide to study hard and do your best, because this is for your future. I promise to do the best I can do for you as your father and you know, your mum is also rooting for you. You got this. Thank you, Dad. So where are we going to? You'll see when we get there. Dad, what kind of place is this? Don't make noise. This is a prayer house. This is a sacred ground. Prayer house beside the river? I don't like it here. Hello, Rabbi. It is well with you and the person you came with. This is the solution ground, where all your prayers are answered. This is my daughter. I want you and your intercessors to pray for her. She's no longer brilliant. Her academic performance has become so poor and I'm worried. I want you to pray for her. I hear it loud and clear that this is a spiritual battle. Someone is jealous of your daughter. Ha speak Lord for thy servant heareth. We will be conducting a spiritual ritual and cleansing for her. Yes Lord, I can hear you. We will bath her in the river and wash her head and face. Then, we will throw six eggs into the river and she will be delivered from the eyes of the enemy. I can hear you sir. Speak, for thy servant heareth. I didn't come with eggs, should I go and buy it? Yes. You can go, by the time you come back, 
We've finished bathing and cleansing her spiritually before we start the ritual. Thank you, Rabbi. Our little princess is here. Tonight, you'll be initiated into our kingdom. From tonight, we will be calling you seduction. I give you the spirit of seduction. Men will bow at your feet, men and women will not resist you. Ha ha ha. What am I doing in the middle of a river? Why am I here? Show her around. I have an assignment for you. You will sleep with men and women and bring them to our kingdom. We will render them handicapped and useless. When you sleep with them, their finances will become down. Go and seduce those men that are winning souls for God and make them to backslide. Ha ha ha. I have a terrible headache. Mum, I don't feel good at all. I saw myself swimming in the middle of an Atlantic Ocean last night and I saw a lot of people there. I'm so sorry, dear. You must be tired and exhausted from yesterday's trip. Just eat and take some pain relief tablets and rest. How was the prayers yesterday? I couldn't ask your dad because he was exhausted. Did dad really call that place a prayer house? They were just ringing bell and shouting and then they took me to the river to wash my head and my face. Dad bought eggs for them and they threw everything inside the river saying goddess of the water, receive our sacrifice. I'm not sure about that kind of deliverance. Eggs, river? When we can just pray to God and he'll hear us. I hope the deliverance works. Go in and rest. Mom, why are you here? I'm a high school student for Christ's sake. Is that why you are dressed like this? Is this how you dress in school? I was missing you, so I stopped by to see you. I also brought food for you. How many years later and you're still complaining about my dressing? Mum, please. I'm a grown-up now. Anyways, thank you for the food. I'll visit you soon. Let's say on Friday. My regards to Dad. As a child of God, you shouldn't dress like this. How do you want people to see you? The way you dress matters. Bye, Mum. I don't have time to listen to your sermon. Love you. Cindy has really changed. I need to drag her to church one of these days. Excuse me, young lady. What a beautiful girl. Are you free? Yes, I am. How much are you willing to pay for a night? Anything you want. I'm rich and famous. I can give you anything. Good boy. Let's go. What a night. I had so much fun. Give me my money so that I can go. Open my suitcase and take whatever amount you want. Just drop your number so that I can call you again. Don't you ever call me again. I don't repeat men. I move on from them with no emotions attached. Goodbye. Greetings to the Queen Mother. You're doing very well, my Queen of Seduction. You will soon be promoted. I see you've been able to bring more stars and you've been able to make them backslide. Anybody you sleep with can never be great again. Well done. Thank you. Go and bring more souls. Initiate them by sleeping with them, torment them in their dreams and I promise to promote you. I'm leaving. Take care and have a nice day since you're on leave. Oh, I almost forgot. Please, my cousin will be coming to town this weekend. He said he'll like to stay here since our house is close to where he's writing his promotion exams. Which of your cousin? My cousin that's a minister. Donald, the one we call man of God. No problem then. Cindy promised to visit us this weekend too. We will have a full house. That's good. See you when I'm back. Enjoy your leave. How was your trip? Fine. We bless God. How is everyone at home? It's been so long. They're all fine. My wife sent her regards. How is Cindy? She must be a big girl now. Yes. She is now a big girl. She said that she will be coming home this weekend, so you'll definitely see her. You're welcome to our home, sir. Thank you so much, madam. 
It's been so long. I hope my brother is treating you well. Yes, sir. Let me show you your room. Thank God for safety. Thank God for journey mercies. That should be Cindy. Welcome home, my girl. You actually kept your words this time around. Good evening, Mum. I promised you, but you didn't believe me. Where is Dad? Is that not Uncle Donald? Good evening, Uncle. Evening, Cindy. So good to see you. Same here, Uncle. How is everyone at home? Fine. We thank God. Indeed. It's been a long day. Can you call everyone? Let's pray together before going to bed. Donald. Donald. The man called by God. I trust you to always do this family devotion in the night and in the morning. That's the way to go. Without God, we're nothing. Your uncle says we should all come out and pray together before going to bed. Oh, 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 oh. If I knew uncle will be here, I won't have come. Mum, please tell him that I'm already sleeping. No. You know that he will tell us to wake you up. You've forgotten that this is like a tradition to him? Come out, we are all waiting for you. Why didn't my parents inform me of this man's coming? I would have stayed back at my hostel. He likes praying too much. In fact, I'm going to weaken his spirit before he leaves. I think we can start praying now since everyone is here. Let's begin to thank God for his faithfulness over our lives. Lift his name on high and worship him for he is a great God. Father, we bless you for you are God, thank you for preservation. Thank you for taking us out and bringing us back safely, Riz of all glory, honor and adoration in Jesus' name. We ask for forgiveness of sins. Cleanse us from every unrighteousness. May your precious blood make atonement for our sins. Even as we go to bed, we ask for protection. May your angels take charge over tonight as we sleep. Thank you, Jesus. I stand on the redemptive power of Jesus and take authority over every marine spirit and altars in this place. Every serpentine spirit that visits anyone here at night, I command you to be destroyed. According to the word of God that whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever I loose on earth is loosed in heaven, I bind you marine spirit in this place. Be bound in Jesus' name. Stop it right there. Who are you to bind me? Do you know who I am? I am the queen of seduction. I am a queen. You better stop disturbing me or I'll destroy you. You marine spirit inhabiting in the life of this daughter of Zion, come and manifest yourself. The scriptures in Matthew 15 verse 13 says that every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted, shall be rooted out. I command you to be uprooted in the life of our daughter. Come and pack your load and leave her now. Be rooted out by fire. Oh my Cindy, what's going on with her? Leave her alone. She must be delivered. No. This body belongs to me. This is my own. I won't leave her. Ha ha ha. According to the word of God in Psalm 8 verse 4 to 6 that says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands, thou hast put all things under his feet. God has given me dominion, and I am a new creation in Christ Jesus and by virtue of that, everything is under my feet. In the water, in the land, in the sea, air and in the desert and because of that, you spirit from the water, loose this daughter of Zion now in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost take over. I lose her from the demonic rope of marine spirits. I command their kingdom to collapse right now in Jesus' name. All the virtues you've stolen from her, I command you to return it right now. I will go. I am leaving now. I am leaving her body. Yes. Go with your properties for this body is the temple of the living God. What's going on? Dad, Mom, what happened to me? Thank you, Jesus. Cindy, I want you to pray this prayer is for total deliverance. I renounce and break every evil dedication to marine and water spirits. Marine deposits in my body, be rooted out of my body. I command you stubborn marine spouse to be separated from me by the power in the blood of Jesus. 
Every problem that has come into my life through contact with any marine agent received divine solution by the blood of Jesus Christ. All my virtues and goodness in the water come out and look at me by fire. Anything programmed into my life from the waters be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pursue, overtake and recover all my possessions from the marine altars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I confess right now that I am free from every evil manipulation and attack. Blood of Jesus Christ, move around my body system and flush away anything that marine spirits use to have access to my life and destiny. I disconnect everything that connects me to them. Tonight, I refuse and reject anything that comes from them. Indeed, my life is no more under their protocol. Jesus, my strength and shield. Use your precious blood and close every door of destruction that marine spirits have opened due to the power that initiated me into their kingdom. Father, fight my battles and grant me peace. I separate myself from every ancestor covenant with water spirits by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. From tonight, let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you Lord for answered prayers for in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now that you've been delivered, you have to continue serving God. Read your Bible and pray always. Do not forget to fellowship with other brethren in church. Always praise and worship God and do not forget to pray. May affliction never rise up again in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello friends, please remember to subscribe to this channel and please always support by watching the adverts. Thank you for watching. God bless you and perfect all that concerns you. May his face continually shine on you in Jesus name, Amen.